Hi guys. I just realized that I um I never really do like personal life centered personal vlogs and Panda Manana does that. He has the Panda Manana vlogs channel and I was like, huh, I wonder if I can do that on Milk Jam Junk and I wonder if anybody would really care. Because I usually when I make videos there's some specific theme. I may not stick to it or <laughs> some idea, but I just kinda wanted to talk about I don't know, just life. Maybe for those of you who have not met me in person, and therefore maybe can't read my Facebook posts. Um, but, um, so, work's been really busy, but, you know, it's the new school year, so that's pretty normal. And, um, but, uh, my company is really cool, and they let me take a couple days off this week, this weekend because um, my my older sister, well, my, my host sister, Natsumi, um, she became my older sister like 12 years ago uh, when I was in high school. And she got married over this weekend, so um, it was very interesting. Um, she's from Osaka. She, she lives in Tokyo, but she lives, uh, she lives in Tokyo, but she's from Osaka. Um, her family was the one I lived with when I was going to high school there. And uh, so I, I took the Shinkansen down to Osaka for just one whole day and like two half days, but just, uh, for the past two weeks, just, I ain't been sleeping well, so, yeah. So I just got to Osaka on Friday, and I kind of just collapsed immediately. Um, well, not immediately, because it was late. And then, like, 5.30 in the morning, there is this big earth, like a mag magnitude five or six or something and so like I got to start my day at 5 30 jumping out of bed and running into a, uh, a doorway crouching and then you know I, I'm like checking for tsunami warnings on Twitter and then all these people posting links of like North Korean threats against Tokyo and I'm just like I don't need this right now uh, so, I know it, some of it is kind of dumb, but it stresses me out, because I get stressed out easily. And then, when I get stressed out, I hide behind my hair, like this. You'll never know it was me. That's what I do. I apologize, I don't have any makeup on. I look like I haven't slept in days, because I haven't slept in days. <laughs> And I, yeah, I just got back to my apartment a couple hours ago, so I have a tag, tag, tag. Um, and I suppose I was, I um, tried to put myself to bed about, about an hour ago, and it's just not happening. I was like, well, make a blog. But, um, so my older sister got married. It was my first wedding in Japan. Really my f the fourth wedding I've ever been to. Second wedding, really, as an adult. I don't go to many social functions and well like in my circle of friends with people who are my age there's not a lot of married people like just not I mean now granted when I went to my sister's wedding <laughs> all of her friends are married because uh, they're like oh we're the age that we are like they're all my age um well we're all married already and have eight bazillion babies and stuff well, not really eight bazillion, but a baby or pregnant and stuff. And I was like, wow, I feel weird because of that. And everybody, like, I don't know, they're just, they're in a different stage of life. And I'm like, am I, am I supposed to go into that stage? Because I really don't feel like I'm responsible. No, I think, I think, like, if I had, like, a good relationship right now, I think I could be happily married kids? No. no. I don't I don't think kids are ever going to happen. Because, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody who really knows me would be like, yeah, you know, her and kids, uh, no, probably not a good idea. Um, but... <laughs> and... See, this is why I don't do, like, regular vlog posts, because all I do is mess up my hair and get confused. Um, yeah. 
Mm. Well, it's usually, <laughs> it's because I took the medicine I'm supposed to take before I go to bed, and then I didn't go to bed, and so I'm, my head's a little fuzzy right now. But, uh, yeah, so the wedding. The wedding was really, um, I cried a lot, but I, like, I kept, like, wiping my tears away, because, like, nobody else was crying, and I didn't want to embarrass myself, and I didn't want to sneeze. We went to this, um, we went to a really nice shrine in Osaka Castle, and she had this beautiful white kimono on a beautiful white kimono on a beautiful white hood on a beautiful black wig, and there was a lot of, not a lot, but two priests and two miko, like, doing all the special Shinto stuff, and there was a lot of standing and bowing and sitting and then standing and bowing and sitting and standing and bowing and sitting in that specific order. And then there was a lot of sake dry, consumed, can't think of the passive there, um, <laughs> consumed, and then um, it, it was good. And then we went into like the formal hall where she had like a costume change and took the hood off and put what I thought is the best hair ornament. It's the wig with sort of like the, um, the paper and the ornaments around it. That, that's my favorite part, even though I've like, you know, I've never been to a real Japanese wedding, you know, from the pictures I've seen, that's my favorite part. And then, then, then we started the big lunch, the lunch that never ended. It was really delicious and, um, they, the, it was really well organized and everybody's like, can you eat this and can you eat this and can you eat this? And I'm like, Come on, guys, I've been living here for too long to be here in this kind of stuff, but yes, I can eat all of it, and if you would not care for it, and if and if it's polite to do so, I will eat yours as well. Except apparently the two beans that I ate, I wasn't supposed to eat the skin on the beans, but they were just like giant lima beans. Skin was delicious, and my friend from high school looked at me like, You ate the skin? And I was like, eh, it probably has fiber in it or something, I don't know, whatever. I eat beans. God. And then, <laughs> and then we drank more Nihonshu from square cups. There's nothing more hardcore Japanese than square bamboo cups, let me tell you. We even got them as omiyage. So I was happy about that. And then, and then Natsumi had another costume change, and that was, she was there was really the prettiest part. And oh God, what is it called? What is it called? I have one that I was going to use for my own wedding that got cancelled. Um, the gigantic kimono, the uchikake. Thank you, the uchikake. It's a reception kimono, and it is very usually very colorful, and... You guys... You guys want to see my uchikake? Words can't do it, just, I'm just gonna get it. I bought it when I was planning to get married to my uh, ex-fiance, but then like, you know, bad stuff happened and I had to run away, and this is probably my, my most valuable possession at that time, and this is probably still one of my most valuable possessions. That's just a sleeve. Oh, I'm gonna have to fold this again. I don't know if I can fold it in my wonderful state that I'm in right now. Okay, here we are. I'm just gonna put it on my head, like, like a champ. That's like, it's totally redneck, isn't it, right? But I'll put this on just for you guys. It's really heavy. I'm 
just trying to pull it straight right now. But normally this part is folded like way up. Especially on people who are way shorter than me. And like it's tied. But this section also gets way and I don't I don't have all the hemo done right now. So this section also gets way pulled up as well when I'm Yeah. Anyway. It's an over kimono, and the edges are padded. And I'll, I'll even turn around and it gets yeah. like the sleeves are also mega padded. I'm 29, guys. It's like the last time I'm ever gonna have the chance. To, besides a wedding, to ever wear a long sleeve kimono ever again, because once I turn 30, that's it. Game over. Anyway, this is the back. Doesn't really change, but I like it. Hey. But yeah, the, as a, don't you like the red color? I like the red color. Hmm. But my sister's, it was like, um, it was like a plum color with uh, momiji on it, which is like the Japanese autumn leaves, which I thought was a little odd since it's spring right now, not autumn, but that's cool. But I like mine. And it makes me wonder, will I use it? I don't know because honestly I've seen there's a lot of like just popular styles and this is one of them of um, uchikake but mm, this is the one I like the most so I don't think I'm ever gonna find one that I like more and most people don't own uchikake either they tend to rent them and I don't know what possessed me to buy this thing from Kyoto, but I was like, I saw it and I had to have it, because I was in wedding mode. Wedding mode, bitches. Wedding mode makes people do crazy shit. I guess. I don't know. Because I don't know what else I would really do with this if I don't get married in it. But there's a question in itself, like, wh will I ever get married? And it's funny, because I'm actually starting seriously to seriously doubt that. But... Hey! Oh, hey, there's the, um... The artist tag in here. That's very nice. Oh, wow. I knew this was vintage, but I didn't realize how vintage... Actually, I think I did. Cool! It's Showa 43! If it's Showa 43, then it's 16 years older than I am, making it roughly 36 years old, making it 78? <laughs> I was born in 84, what's 84 minus 16? 68. Very, very good condition having being older than me. Where is this blog going? This blog just turned into Uchikake blog. Now I'm gonna have to spend the next two hours folding this thing. This is so a junk video because I can't even keep my thoughts straight. Go to bed!